Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your quarterly reading. This is going to be for July, August, and September. Okay, we're going to pull three cards for each of the months. Then we got a bunch of other cards that we're going to be diving into. So sit back and relax, okay? We got lots to uncover here. We got the hangman, the hanged man, yeah, the hanged man. Okay, can I just get two more, please? The queen of swords, one more, please. And the Eight of Wands for July. The Nine of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups for August. The Knight of Pentacles. The world and the ace of pentacles for September. Wow. Okay. Really interesting next couple of months here for you, Sagittarius. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I would prepare. This is a lot of preparation. Uh, this summer you can have a lot of fun. I do see you traveling or planning, uh, some sort of adventure here with your friends, which makes a lot of sense because it's you, you're Sagittarius, you're the traveler. That's a lot. Um, can I just get one? Why are you verbal diarrheaing all over adversity? Yeah, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Look, Sagittarius, from one fire sign to another fire sign, I'm just going to say this. This is the next three months. You must prepare. You must focus. You must stay diligent. Find moments within the next three months to rest, relax, retreat, have fun, and let your hair down and be spontaneous and exciting. Um, but also know that there will be a lot of work the next three months, a lot of work. Mm -hmm. See, I feel like there's a deconstruction happening in your life when I'm looking at these cards. Um, I'm surprised that the tower didn't come out. Uh, it might come out in your love reading. I don't know yet. So the first card we got for the mantra is the adversity card. It says, I accept that the best ways to learn, the challenges are the best ways to learn. And then we have the void here as your star seed card. And it says, stop, embrace winter, great cosmic wound. And then your rose oracle card says, the mystic rose, compassion, devotion, humility, humanity, grace. Whatever you're going through, whatever obstacles, challenges, whatever things you're having to deal with. Sorry, I just realized like the lighting is just not doing it for me right now. It's bothering me a lot. Um, whatever you're going through here, okay. One, you're going to have to practice a lot of compassion with yourself. You're going to have to hold a lot, like, uh, hold a lot of space for yourself. Um, grieve, feel the sorrow, feel the things that you have to feel, okay? Because the next three months, things are just going to be pulled away that are not serving you anymore. And sometimes detaching from these things can feel really hard and feel really difficult. In the month of July, I think you're going to start seeing things for what they are, not for what you wish them to be. This could be in your career, your friendships, your relationships. It could be in a plethora of different things. With the hanged man, I always say the hanged man like a uh, phrase is uh, inaction will help lead you to action. This means contemplation, self-reflection, stillness, observing. And with the queen of swords, she, she's got the shield here so it's important for you to protect yourself observe watch wait allow things to unfold okay and with the eight of wands here like i said find moments of travel excitement happiness where you can but for some of you you may be needing to move like homes relationship leaving a house like leaving a job a career or something because it's just not serving you for your highest good anymore then we have in august the nine of wands so there's the wounded warrior this is fighting this is feeling defensive this is putting in a lot of hard work the six of pentacles needing to restore that balance that i talked to you about and the five of cups i think you're seeing that in order to restore balance in your life there are things that are going to have to leave I almost get this energy that you're going to spend the next three months either transforming your career, your love life, or your personal life. There's like a, like I said, deconstructing to reconstruct happening again, okay? Even if we look at the void card, it's like, it could feel like things are not really coming together right now, and you might feel a little bit uncertain or a little bit worried, but like they are coming together. It's just you're in that 
lull right now before the seeds start to sprout. Now for September, this is where things get really juicy. You got the Knight of Pentacles, the World, and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like an opportunity finally comes through specifically around your career. So if you've been looking for a new job, shifting your job, changing your job, here is something new that's opening up for you, okay? A new job is finally being made available to you. A new career is finally being made available to you. A cycle is completing. Some of you may be moving from one city to another as part of this career advancement. Some of you may be like, you know, I don't know, like such a typical Sagittarius thing to say, but like, let's just say you're getting your pilot license, okay? You get your pilot license, and now you can travel the world. Like, there's a, a leveling up, okay? A graduation of sorts. And then with the Ace of Pentacles, this is offering you a whole new world, stable, solid, secure. There is a new uh, chapter in your life that's opening up in September. So just know this as you're traveling through the summer months to have fun where you can, to know that some things may not necessarily work out, but that adversities are the best way to learn and that you are really just transmuting this energy and shifting it into something that's going to work way better for you. It's going to be more in your favor, okay? the Before we dive into your love reading and get more cards, the amulet you got for this quarter is called Priestess. I'm going to sneak. Hi, Priestess. <laughs> Bless me at you. Um, Hi, Priestess is uh, Moonstone and Labradorite. The blend together helps you to be really tuned in and tapped into source consciousness to receive the information from source from up above. And I think what's happening here is source is guiding you through the next three months. You're going to really be tuning into your psychic abilities, your intuition, almost like you're going to have this like sixth sense that's going to be activated. You're going to know things about people, about places before they happen. Pisces, high priestess, same thing. I don't know if you guys have heavy Pisces placements as well, or if you're just going to be really tuning into that psychic ability, that 12th house or wherever Pisces sits in your chart. Pisces is ruled by Jupiter and uh, Neptune, okay? Jupiter traditionally, Neptune in like new world astrology you're going to be seeing things you're going to be seeing things you're going to be also getting a lot of intuitive hits a lot of downloads okay let's dive into the love reading and see what's going on for love for the next three months if you want to book a session with me or pick up your amulet it's in the description box below all the pieces that um, i make are literally made by me and they're made here in house in toronto and uh, that's under the star sea jewels website playfulness to recapture a moment allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine Flirt. I've just heard single like a Pringle for the for the summer. So I feel like you're just going to be dating, having a good time, uh, exploring your love life, really just giving yourself the opportunity to be free. That's too many. Can I just get one for playfulness, please? We've got the Queen of Wands playfulness. Yeah, babe, like you're just going to be doing your thing. No commitments, no strings attached, just having a lot of fun. I honestly can't help but feel like some of you might be breaking up with somebody and just having the summer of a lifetime. Feeling sad, obviously, I think in August specifically, but like just having the summer of a lifetime. Flirt, Eight of Eight of Cups. Yeah, like you're going to be walking away from anybody who you're like, mm, I'm not interested in you. No, thanks. I'm done here. And then with the King of Swords, make the effort. Yeah, very unemotional when it comes to love for the next three months. You're really going to be focused on um, yourself healing, transforming, and tuning into this like new psychic part of you that I don't think you – ever had an opportunity maybe in the past to really like dive into or explore on a deeper level that's uh it almost makes me feel like that's going to be opening up for you this new way of seeing things maybe you do get moonstone and labradorite and start meditating with them maybe you do get high priestess or maybe you just start seeing that your dreams are giving you messages premonitions and you start writing them down but whatever you're doing you're activating that third eye and that crown chakra and you will become a vessel for receiving um just like fluidly. It's very beautiful and powerful indeed. All right, Sagittarius, that's your quarterly reading. Make sure you go watch your weekly and your monthly readings and the other videos over on my channel. We will see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.